Night out all over the country and right here in Detroit, people are celebrating their community and the police who patrol it. Here in the city, some big names came out for the event, including the mayor, the chief, even the U.S. Attorney General. 7 Action News reporter Brian Pomerini is live to tell us why they say Detroit is an example for other police departments across the nation. Brianne? Well, Carolyn, this park was a big party earlier. Free food, live music, a bounce house, even a petting zoo. But behind this big effort, really just an effort to make sure people get to know their police. Shanita Wilson is attending National Night Out for the first time with her daughter, and she said it humanizes police officers. It's really important because, especially at this time right now, for us to know that they're um, human, they care about us, and it really just means a lot to give back to the community. And that's why Attorney General Loretta Lynch said Detroit is doing National Night Out right. This is such an important part of what we're all working on as a country, celebrating family, neighborhood, community. Lynch headlined the event and people lined up to talk with her and take pictures with her. Cities like Detroit that have spent a lot of time working on their problems, looking for those solutions, and we're here to support them. And in the name of improving police relations, Chief James Craig provided one of the real highlights of this national night out celebration. Let's go, Detroit! Community, police, young people, seniors, dancing police chiefs. It just doesn't get much better than that. He said Detroit should feel honored Lynch chose to spend National Night Out here. The U.S. government is saying we like what we see going on in Detroit. And there are other departments that can learn from us. And we're willing to teach. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, but you just don't win and build trust overnight. The U.S. Attorney General will continue her visit in Detroit tomorrow. She has some justice forums at Wayne State University. Of course, 7 Action News will keep you updated. Live in Detroit, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, certainly was a nice event. Thanks, Brianne.